I'm Kari Nato at Stanford University, and I'm very lucky to be the director of the Sean Parker Center for Allergy and Asthma Research, where I serve a wonderful team of individuals who is doing work in food allergy, trying to find the causes as well as the cures. I think we always have to have a why, and my why is inspired particularly by patients. One night, I was in the intensive care unit where we were called to the bedside of a child who had died due to milk allergy. And so that really impacted me, and I decided that from here on in, I wanted to focus on food allergy, and I wanted to focus on how to treat it and how to prevent it. So that was the catalyst that really started me down this road. I think of Dr. Nadeau as one of the premier food allergy treatment specialists in the world. She's trailblazing for food allergies. She's the first to treat multiple food allergies at the same time and given a number of food allergic patients who have multiple allergies, this is really creating a large impact for the food allergic community. I was impressed that she had a clinical research program and a basic science mechanistic research program all in one at Stanford University. The best thing about Dr. Nido is her kindness. She just loves people and, and she's such an amazing human being and the kindness is what really stands out to me. I think she really is able to convey a sense of caring and provide a sense of safety and security for patients and their families when oftentimes the diagnosis and the day-to-day -day management of food allergies can be really overwhelming and challenging. Kari is not just a fantastic physician, a great researcher, and an extraordinary mom, but she is a fantastic partner and wife for me. We've been together since 1989. We met the beginning of medical school. She's driven to succeed, to transform the world, to take care of her patients, to produce new findings in medicine in a way that, that is remarkable, unique, and, and it's very special. She has an, an iron will, but what I think is most incredible is that a lot of that iron will goes into making sure that she is as patient as possible and as kind as possible with everybody she meets, which is incredible. She's like a superhero. She can do so many things and still be able to like come home with a smile on her face, even if she's had like the worst day ever. I feel like she's still like, wherever I am, like I kind of think about her, like what she would do, what she would say to this person if someone comes to me for help. She tends to like look at the world and thinks about how she can make it better, which I've always been inspired by. Having a mom that really cares about where you are, where you're going, what's happening with your life, and just wants to be like engaging with you at all times, I think it's really important to have that special connection with a parental figure. She's been such a role model in me because I've grown up like almost all my life just knowing that I really want to be a doctor because all my parents have been a doctor and all their work is so cool. And my mom's just been very supportive of that. I think it's so cool that she knows a lot about these different careers that I think I could experience one day. I think one of the things that people who know Kari know about her is that she's almost superhuman and she's compassionate about her patients and she's passionate about what she does. There have been so many moments that she was there when I needed her. And I'll never forget when she called us to tell us that Andy's test results had come back and his allergies had basically gone away. We have a picture of Andy sitting in front of M&Ms, peanut M&Ms, Snickers, you know, all this stuff, because I had bought it in the hopes that that would happen. We celebrated, my husband and I were drinking champagne, and Andy celebrated by, you know, having a bite of each of these things that he was never allowed to have. And that wouldn't have been possible without her. I was once talking to a friend in Hawaii about Kari, and she said, is this person an angel? And I said, yes, actually she is. And she said, the way you talk about her, it's like she's not of this earth. And that's how most of us feel about her. She wrote the book on thinking outside of the box and solving the problem. So the best thing that we can do is support Kari's research. 
because if she has an idea, she's probably onto something. Thank you, Kari. There is nothing that I wouldn't do for you. And I'm forever in gratitude. You've given us a life. God bless you. Kari Nato changes lives. She changes the lives of her patients, she changes the lives of their families, and she's changing the lives of all food allergic individuals and moving the signs along. Her can-do, uh, never say no attitude has just changed the way I think people think about food allergies. In my own personal um, opinion, it, it feels like she started a revolution. She lit a fire under the field. I am very excited about being able to train the younger generation for making sure that they're inspired by patients and their stories to be able to continue to work in food allergy. We have some answers, but we don't have all the answers. And so it brings me a lot of joy to inspire others and to do good science and to share that with the community. And every time I get a new piece of data, I want to make sure that gets right out to the community to help people. None of us truly feel that we know exactly how much work mom does and how much helping mom does for other people, but we know it's a lot. Yeah, we do true. have some idea that it is a tremendous amount, and the fact that she is getting honored, at least in some part for it, is incredible. Love you, mom. Thank Go, you, mom. Mom. Go, mom. Love you, mom. 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 mom.